Alrighty boys, welcome back to another video, and today I just wanted to make this video, there's literally nothing else, uh, no, pretty much no other reason why I'm making this video, other than to just point and laugh at a, at another big title coming out, the gate swinging, absolutely trash. Did, now you might ask yourself, well did you play it, did you play it? No. Am I going to play it? No. So, um, you know, uh, big red flag, first thing everyone should have seen was that the publisher is EA. EA is notorious for having probably, honestly, the worst, um, I'm not going to say the worst catalog, but honestly, the worst performing games, always, without, 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 um, without any fault, they will always have the worst performing games. And you might be like, man, you're hating, you're hating. No, I just love to see it. And the fact of the matter is, They've never even tried to do anything better. But you know what they did this year? Like all the other big companies did? How about we charge you 10 more dollars for absolute trash that we've served you for the past literally decades? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say decades. I don't know how long EA has been in business. But pretty sure two decades, you know, probably been in business. You know, I played EA games for, you know, a while. Uh, you know, whenever I had, um, you know, the PS3, PS2. You know, they were, they were okay. They were manageable. But now it's just every single time. If it's by EA, if it's if it's by any of the top, like, five, uh, you know, Ubisoft, it's going to be trash. It's not going to run well. Every time, uh, for example, is it Ubisoft that comes out with Assassin's Creed? I think it's Ubisoft, right? Um, every single time, you know, since I you know, do videos on different games, you know, I show off stuff, I do tutorials, every single time, only, this only happens for the, like, the top five big publishers, you know, like EA, Ubisoft, uh, and all the other trash companies, every single time, you would think that these games would be polished, right, they have so much money behind them, but these are always the most unpolished games, these are games where as soon as I launch it, I have to go into the settings, I have to troubleshoot 300 different things. I have to go look up on YouTube 200 different things on how to actually improve my FPS every single time. Listen, if you want to make some money on YouTube, just create a channel that shows how to optimize these absolute dog water games. And I'm telling you, you will become an instant success. I might do it, but I'm not that very good at, you know, you know, I mean, troubleshooting all that. So I watch other people's contents. But if you're good at that, if you're good at like, you know, showing stuff that can improve fps every big release get it you're gonna listen you're gonna make bank because as we can see right here <clears throat> this just came out it literally just came out and as you can see mostly negative god you love to see it wow and then obviously you have the uh the the people who are just like you know uh, it's good they announced a, a patch this week fixing a problem, which is bottlenecking CPU, so at least they are aware of it. Oh, thank God that they're aware of it. God, God bless their heart. God bless this. How many, how many, how much money does EA make per year? Let's see. EA, yearly. I know they're not the uh, developer, but hey, if, if they're uh, publishing it, they do have some control over it. Let me tell you something. Oh, man, would you look at this? EA yearly revenue. 7.377 billion, baby! Woo! And guess what? It's about to go up. Because now games are $69.99, baby, instead of $59.99. Oh, yes. And don't forget to get your um deluxe edition. They don't even say deluxe anymore. They, they just try to incorporate it with the game. The Karakuri edition. Ooh, wee. Look at that. And that one's 90. What do you get with it? What, what, what do you get with it? What, what, let me see. What, what do you get with this upgrade? Uh, the car carrier upgrades includes two full armor sets. Oh my god, yes. Decorative Tusukomo lantern. Oh my god, a lantern. Can you believe it? And three emotes. Woo! Give it up, 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 give it up. Let's go, baby. So for $20, oh man, oh man, for $20, bro, can you believe it? You get two full armor sets, a decorative lantern, and three emotes. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I wanted, man. Wow. And they have, and they have the audacity to call this DLC. Remember when we had games where DLCs were like a full new world that you can explore and you can go through this and that? 
But don't worry. Nowadays, we have um, just a lot of cosmetics. Look at this. Oh, man. L l look how they made this look. Look how they made this look. They made this look like, oh, well, standard edition, you just get the base game. You get nothing. But with this edition, oh, my God, look how shiny it is. You get cosmetics, armor sets, a lantern, emotes. But then they made it look like it's so much more. Bro, how do people keep buying these games? Bro, I know people want to believe that eventually they're going to find the game that's really good. Brother, these games suck. EA sucks. Literally, the top five biggest publishers that make the most year-end revenue, they all suck. They don't make good games anymore. It's gone. Good games are literally indie games. You know, games made by, uh, uh, like, solo, you know, companies or small companies. That's the good games, man. And they don't even cost usually this much. Like, literally, literally I just played, uh, what's it called? Dark and Darker. Hey, man, look, in Dark and Darker, guess what? You get armor sets for free. You just have to you have to earn it. You, you want to be a skeleton? You want to be an elf? You just earn it. You just play the game enough, and, and you get enough credits, and you just... You are you get it. You you get lanterns while while exploring the dungeon and emotes are free. But no, pay twenty dollars. And isn't this a single player game? <laughs> oh my goodness. This game is really rough around the edges, of course. Uh major first problem, performance bad. Major W second, you can you can make a pig fly. Oh thank the lord you can make a pig fly. Very bad optimization. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I could have seen it from a uh, mile away. Receive product for free. Nice. Nice. And still negative. Oh, you love to see it, baby. Oh, another product for free. And still negative. Woo! Oh, man. Guys, listen. 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 I know what you're going to say. You're going to be like, oh, don't make fun of the people who keep pre-ordering this. Point and laugh, boys. Point and laugh because it is absolutely unacceptable and it's been unacceptable and I know there's nothing we can do about it. They're going to keep doing it. People are going to keep buying it. It is what it is. But I'm going to tell you like this. You know, the only time that I would suggest pre-ordering something from one of these companies is like if it's had, you know, for example, if, if like two hours of gameplay claim came out before um, if you know, if you can see how the game is played, da, da 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 da. Before that, if they just show trailers and this and that, it's it's a whole bunch of baloney, man. It's a whole bunch of baloney. And don't listen to them reviewers out there. I don't care if the reviewer has you know a million, two million subscribers. And you're like, oh, I listen to this guy all the time. Because to be honest with you, in my opinion, uh, the point where reviewers fell off for me completely, and there was a lot of reviewers who did this. Was when reviewers, um, you know, when Cyberpunk came out, and all those reviewers were like, "Oh man, I got invited. I played four hours. The gameplay is so innovative. I went to their studio and I played so much." Just look at all these channels, right, that do reviews. And if they have a Cyberpunk review before it came out, and they were praising it and they were saying, "Go buy it, this and that," that should tell you everything you need to know. That they are, you know, they're they're they're, they're not they're not here to. You know what I mean? Actually sell you their own truth or their own bias. They're here to sell you the bias of the person who keeps giving them games. And if they rate games too low or if they say the games are absolute dog water, they're not going to get the uh, new games, you know what I mean, before everyone else. So they can't get that little clout up. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just is what it is. Um, and look, they even got a, <clears throat> an EA Play. Oh, thank the Lord, they got a subscription service. Another predatory thing that, you know, obviously is plaguing the gaming industry. Ugh, sensational. This is honestly great. You know what I mean? I saw that, like I told you, I saw this from a mile away. You know what I mean? A title that I haven't heard of before, Wild Hearts, published by EA. You already knew it. You already knew what time it was. You already knew what time it was. If it was maybe something that wasn't like, you know what I mean? A newer title, like it was a continuation, then maybe you might have some hope. It's still going to be, you know, good at best. It's not, it's never going to be like insanely great, but uh, yeah, th this is expected. This is all it is. And what's going to happen um, is this is going to go fully, um, what's it called, mostly negative. And then over time, what, what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to rise to uh, mixed 
and eventually it's going to rise to positive and people are going to be like, oh yeah, it's fine now, right? It's fine now, right? But like by that point, I'm going to keep it real with you. I, and I'm going to say this like this. I feel like a lot of these games, when they hit mostly negative, they um, they start getting a lot. I'm not going to say they get fake reviews, but I feel like they get fake reviews just to bring it back to like mixed or something. Because once they're mixed, they're like, oh yeah, no, it's fine. It just it always happens like that for some reason. It's a little bit weird, but uh, yeah. Um, just want to do a little rant, a little talk. You know, what I mean, I like doing these. Uh, I know a lot of people are gonna, probably gonna be in here and be like, "Oh, I, every time I do one of these rants, there's always people who are just like, oh, oh man, come on, can't do that, man, come on, man. Yeah, you can, you can, you 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 could you could laugh at failure. You know what I mean? Especially by a company that this shouldn't happen to at all. I'm sorry if you made seven. Point four billion dollars last year like you can't optimize the game <laughs> brother there, there's studios out there that like make games with like 12 people and, and and like i go into the game the game automatically gets my settings right automatically uh uh, uh you know what i'm saying does all that and the game runs perfectly fine how does that work but you guys can't figure it out yikes big yikes all right boys it's a great sight to see, you know what I mean? Ooh, 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 ooh. Listen, let me tell you something.